Hello and welcome to our fourth instalment of our Getting Started with Fireworks screencast series, in which we'll be discussing and demonstrating the hotspots feature in Fireworks. I'm Connor recording this exclusively for Web Design Tuts Plus. So if we head over to Fireworks, we've got the exact same design that we've used in all of our screencasts so far, and it's already set up with the multiple pages that we saw in the first video. So one of Fireworks' main attractions is the ability to create prototypes and wireframes. With Fireworks, you can produce interactive prototypes to demonstrate the interactivity you've got planned for a project. The majority of these stem from creating hotspots, which offer the ability to link pages or add behaviours. We'll touch on these behaviours today and take it a little bit more in depth in the future. Hotspots are one of the main attractions to Photoshop switches as well. It allows you to produce a prototype that a client can actually click around and interact with. Obviously these aren't meant for final products, and that's something that we really need to stress. So as we start on our design, you can see that we have three pages plus the master page. Now this is acting just as we would see in our first video, and if we head to layers, you can see we have our master layers, and these are carried through onto each page. So, we're going to add some links to our navigation area, all of which are contained in the master page. The navigation elements are the menu and the logo. In most cases, the logo acts as a permanent link back to the home page. So in the master page, we're going to draw a hotspot over the logo. Now, to do this, you'll have to select the kind of like shape with a hyperlink chain over it in the web toolbar. In this case, it's already set to polygon hotspot. Um, there are three options to choose from when you're drawing your hotspots. You've got the rectangle hotspot tool, the circle hotspot tool, and the polygon hotspot tool. So the rectangle and circle just act in the exact same way that you'd expect them to. You draw out the shape and the uh, area selected for both rectangle and circle. However, we can also choose the polygon shape. So if you maybe have a slightly weird shaped area that you want to add a link to, well, you can do this simply by drawing out separate points to create a polygon hotspot. These can be as many points as you want, and you can customise it as far or as little as you want. We'll just take that off. So, I can easily draw out a hotspot like I just did, and if I wanted another, well, what I'd simply have to do is select my pointer tool, make sure that my hotspot's selected, then hold on the ALT key, or if you're on a Mac, it'll be the OPTION key, and drag the hotspot. This will duplicate the hotspot, and all I have to do really is edit the link. So once you've made a hotspot, new options are shown in the Property Inspector. From this panel, you can rename the hotspot, so maybe... There, we've renamed it. You can edit its position and dimensions in these. We don't really need to do anything there, so we'll just leave them. And we can also choose wherever it links, so obviously we want this to keep linking back to the home page. And we can sell alternative text, set a target if we want. I'm just going to leave this none. And we can also change the shape if we wanted to change the shape. Normally you wouldn't have to, but it's the options there. And we can change the colour overlay if we wanted to. So this is one of the advantages of Fireworks being able to actually change the overlay of a slice or hotspot. Um, these aren't apparent in the final product, but they increase the visual reference when you're actually working in Fireworks. So obviously if I was on a turquoise background and I had a turquoise overlay, that wouldn't be very noticeable in a sea of different hotspots. However, obviously I can change my colour overlay, or maybe you've got different link groups, you can share, you can colour coordinate them basically. So we've got that link to the home page, we're going to add some links across on the header, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, obviously I want to use rectangle, So there, obviously we haven't got a services and contact us page yet, but we've added our three hotspots there. So that's the most basic use of hotspots, linking. This document isn't sliced, so we 
can export as HTML, but it'll just be a single image with the linked areas still intact on top. We won't overcomplicate things now by adding slices, but they'll, they work in unison with hotspots. So this document could be completely sliced up if you wanted to. Obviously, the, those hotspots are being carried across, so it could all be made into a final prototype. But we're not going to take things that in depth now because we're only here to show the hotspots functionality as we've already covered the slicing. So to export it, of course, we do what we've done previously. File, export, and then we want to save it um, as whatever. Um, obviously, we haven't got any slices, so we don't have to worry about including all the slices, but we'll save that there. Now we can pull it up in Safari and have a look. So across here in Safari, you can see we've got our prototype up here. Um, and as we click on to About, it's going to obviously change to our About page. Clicking the logo is going to take us back to the home page. All the hotspots that we've just created in Fireworks are now visible and working in Safari. So that's a roundup of using hotspots purely for linking and adding hotspots just as you expect. But obviously, in unison with slices, these can be utilised to create rollover effects and add some other levels in, of interactivity away from just navigation. Make sure you continue to follow Web Design Tuts Plus for more basic and advanced fireworks screencasts at webdesign.tutsplus.com.